This is probably one of the most popular questions I have ever received, and which has been posted to several audio communities out in the interwebs. How much should you budget or expect to pay for a hi-fi system? So what's the correct answer? Is there a right answer? Stay tuned, guys, and I will break it down for you. The first thing I would do if I were looking to buy my first serious hi-fi setup is to figure out my goals and expectations for the performance and what budget I have to work with. I could build you dozens of different configurations using cheap chi fi and entry level products and keep you under a thousand, sometimes under 500 and you know, even as low as $250. If you want a system like that, drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to put something together for you or I, I could do a video about all cheap audio. However, I feel enough YouTube personalities out there have already covered the topic well cover the topic. Nevertheless, if you ask for this question, you know, or even ask yourself this question, or even worse, ask the warden for permission to spend money on this hobby, you'll have to know how much you have or want to spend and what you want to achieve with your system. Are you looking for like long-term system where you can scale and upgrade and tweak? Or are you just looking for a good quality, two channel setup for your listening area that you will be, you know, using forever, your forever system. Wait, 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 wait. that last thing I just said didn't make any sense. Cause once you come down the rabbit hole with us, you will never be satisfied for very long before wanting to upgrade. So forget I said that last part. If you are sure that this hobby is what you want and you want to make it a long-term investment, I'm ready to help you. I presented this question on Instagram and received an astounding amount of comments and responses. <laughs> some were funny, some kind of weird, some pretty cool and right on, but the average consensus was between 10 to 20 grand. One guy actually said 15 to 20 grand without breaking the bank. I'm not exactly sure what type of banks you guys are working with here. Uh, others went as far as suggesting into the six figure range. Like what do you people do for a living? Uh, I want in because I want to be able to six figure my way through life. Uh, perhaps they misunderstood the question itself. However, I am addressing how much uh, one can expect to spend at their starting point of their journey in hi-fi, not at the end game. Uh, this is why I am reluctant to recommend systems under $500 or even a thousand because we are talking about high fidelity listening here, which in my opinion can't be achieved using inexpensive mass produced products. Many of those manufacturers go to the lowest bidder when sourcing their parts and components for their, you know, whatever it is, their offerings, their amps, their loudspeakers, or their sources. It's just cheap stuff. I don't feel like an uh, apology is owed also from the people who want to spend tens of thousands of dollars on their systems to the folks who can only afford a, you know, sub $1,000 system. Uh, if they worked hard for it, I want to flex via their sound system, let them, you know, it's, it's their prerogative. It's the equivalent of buying a $50 bottle of fantastic wine or a 5,000 bottle of wine. Only a real connoisseur, uh, you know, or sommelier will be able to discern the subtleties of the flavor profiles and only someone wealthy could really quantify a purchase at large for a fricking bottle of wine. The same goes for hi-fi. Uh, you have to reach a point where you ask yourself when is good enough, good enough, because it's a rarity in a lifetime to find absolute perfection through matching, tweaking, and listening. Perfection is very rare. You know, but at what point do you stop increasing the ceiling of your budget and say, okay, this system is right for me. It's different for everyone. You know, uh, nobody will have the same price tag on their system because the consumption of sound is a hundred percent subjective. And honestly, I may absolutely hate your $50,000 system and you might find my system obnoxious as well. Every ear is unique and that's what makes component matching so much fun because you get the opportunity to fine tune your system in a fun and unfortunately expensive way. Can't, can't avoid it. So my advice to you is to find a budget you're comfortable with and build a system around that budget. Split it into thirds. Get yourself a great pair of speakers, 
you know, bookshelf speakers are a great choice because they're, you know, a bit less expensive than, you know, let's say a stand mount, um, and they still sound great. Uh, then get amplification to fit those speakers and then figure out what source best suits your listening habits and overall style. If you love streaming, get a nice music streamer. If you dig the CD culture, get a CD player. Or if you like spinning that vinyl, then it's a turntable for you. W whatever you like, then get that source. Uh, I'll leave some examples in the description below of some different matches at different price points that will help you on your quest, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, don't forget to check out my online hi-fi clothing shop where I have the best selection of hi-fi related t-shirts, hoodies, and a lot more. Uh, so, uh, oh, don't forget, Facebook group, Hi-Fi Audio Addiction. And for those who like being part of my community, I'm completely revamping my Patreon. I'll be doing giveaways, exclusive content, and special promos for my online store as well for my patrons. So once I hit 20 patrons, the giveaways shall begin. Uh, and we're talking good stuff. It's not going to be cheapy stuff. Thank you again for checking out the video and stay tuned for the triangle. It's right behind me. Triangle Borea Bro 9 video coming up in a few days. Um, if you guys, if you don't see any more videos from me, uh, throughout the rest of the month, I wish you guys a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate, uh, make it happy. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.